Hi guys, this is Arbiter. Um, today we're going to be looking at advanced pod controllers and normal pod controllers, I suppose, but they're basically the same thing. Um, this is quite a useful tool for making vehicles with if you, you, you're making your own vehicle. I'm just going to demonstrate briefly what kind of thing it does. Um, low resolution again, just for you guys. Um, right, I'm just going to make this facing the vehicle so I can actually see what's going on. Um, right, so going to stick the pod controller there and I'm going to stick a thruster that's firing plasma or something uh, colours in my face. Okay, now uh, highlight the pod controller again and just with your tool gun right click if you read the, set, uh, the sentence at the top where it says primary and secondary so secondary click is to link it. So you click on that, right click and then on a vehicle and it should pop up in the text box advanced pod linked which is great. Then, when you highlight an input on a thruster or something, a thruster, hoverball, any gate, and then if you wire it up to the pod controller, you get a list of outputs. These are uh, respective on your keyboard, so obviously at the moment it says W. So if I wire that up, then sit in the chair, you can see that the light has gone green, meaning the advanced control is active, and then if I was to hold W, there, it's firing the thruster in my face, which is great. <laughs> and that is essentially how an advanced pod controller works. Inputs. So, I'm going to make a vehicle just to show you what kind of things you can do with an advanced pod controller. Since I've got 10 minutes on a video, I shall hopefully try and do this as quickly as possible. Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh, there is a number of different many many inputs on advanced pod, uh, pod, pod controllers. Most of them are your normal WASDA. Um, also, if I seem to remember correctly, my hoverballs on wire have... Oh no, they've decided to work. For some reason, my wire's been totally playing up of late. Either way, so okay. I'll just stick some hoverballs on there. <coughs> right, unfortunately, with advanced pod controllers, their outputs, although on a normal pod controller you can set the values of on or off, these one, the, the advanced pod controller only does ones and zeros. One for when it's on, and zero for obviously when it's off. Alright, I'll just spawn myself a little chair. Uh, car seat. <laughs> Easy weld, if you don't use this you should. It basically just, you weld it on something and you weld it on somewhere else and it automatically snaps to where it is you weld it to. So link them up. Okay, now we're going to add some thrusters. So I'm going to have two thrusters on the back. I'm going to make them, um, well no effects, I'll put, I'll put jet flames on. Make them bi-directional. I've put the force on maximum because I'm insane like that. So. Right, there we go. <coughs> and I'm going to put two on the sides, but then obviously not going to be as powerful because that would make my car, my flying vehicle spin out of control. Right. Now, as I've said in my first tutorial, I'm putting them on the front left and back right so that they rotate clockwise or anti clockwise, depending on what happens. Now, then, as I said, <coughs> they only receive ones and zeros as their inputs. So, what I'm going to do is to make it go forward and backwards I'm going to use an add gate. Now an add gate can receive multiple inputs as I said in my second tutorial so I'm going to wire both thrusters up to this but obviously it's only going to receive if I wire A up to W then obviously it's only going to go forwards when I press W so if I wanted to go backwards say for S obviously I'm going to have to make it a negative number so I'm going to use a new gate that's still in arithmetic that's called negate and this will make any number it receives negative so if I wire that this up to S and then wire this up to B then when I press W the add gate will output 1 and the thrusters will receive 1 and start going forward if I press S the add gate will be negative 1 and the thrusters will go backwards and I illustrate this now in my chair forwards there we are I'm moving forwards if I press S there we go, moving backwards. 
very simple. So then, freeze again. <coughs> now, left and right is a similar story. So if I want to, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make another negate gate for. The, uh, problem with making a vehicle is that the, if I press E too much, I'll fly and s I'll sit inside it. So, for making it go right, so that would be for D, and to make it go left, which would be for A. So then, there we go, and wire up to the and then wire the thrusters up to the add controller. <coughs> right. So then hopefully Yep, there's turn on left, there's turn on right, and there's turn on left. And that is essentially how you can build yourself a little vehicle. Now, since I imagine I've got more time, I'm going to throw a few couple of extra things on here. Um Let's see, I'll add a turret on the front. Let's say so, damage 5, I don't, well, we'll make it a huge 100. So, stick that directly on the front. I hope that's not slanting up, that seems fairly uh, <coughs> well put together. Um, and then wire that up. Now, also, besides keypad inputs, you can also add it up to mouse 1. So, if I was to fly around and fire mouse 1, there's my thruster, f there's my turret firing, and I could shoot people with that, or, you know, NPCs, whatever I feel like doing. <coughs> Which I will now demonstrate by killing an innocent citizen, I think. Yep. Combine soldier. I don't know why I can't jump on top of these things most of the time. There we go, sit in, rotate, face him. Obviously you can fiddle with the, th with the settings of the thrusters to turn faster or slower or whatever it is you like. But there you go, there's me, just shot a combine in the face. So, also with vehicles, you can um, output speeds, obviously. So we're going to use wire detection, which I'm going to go into in quite a bit of detail later on, maybe. Um, an output speed. I'm going to also add an arithmetic round gate. Which, ra which basically just rounds up any number to a whole number instead of using decimals and that's only so that it can fit on a screen um, the screen is obviously not never going to rotate the way I want it to so and then it's messed up again sometimes I just hate this game no I didn't say that, that's lies nobody heard me say it Right, um, easy weld. Nope, just just go sideways again. I don't mind. Okay, and then wire that that up. So the value of the screen is the round gate, and the value of the round gate is I'm gonna put it in miles per hour. You can cycle through the outputs on a speedometer to give you miles per hour or whatever you like. And this will output the speed we're going. As you can see at the moment it's 1 because I just threw the thing. So I'm going to go forwards, it's going to pick up speed. So at the moment we're going at 4 miles an hour, which is great. 5 miles, ooh, fast. <coughs> and that's basically how a speedo would work. So now you have the basics of a, well, advanced pod controller vehicle. Um, beware though, because anybody who sits in this seat, if you're on a server that doesn't really have prop protection or anything like that, or you've got prop protection buddies or something like that. Anybody who sits in the seat can use it. This is a curse and a blessing in its own regard. So they can just press whatever they want on their keypad on the keyboard in respect to this and it'll work. And that's the basics of it. Um, go away and do with it what you like. Bye.